New York City is renowned for its ultra-luxury life and its high-rise buildings. The stunning skyline has continued to change for more than a century. There have been numerous additions as the number of high-rise buildings has crossed a figure of 6,400. The tallest one of these is One World Trade Center, which is 441 meters tall, but it will soon have competitors like 270 Park Avenue. In today's video, we are looking into some of the most interesting skyscraper projects that will change the skyline of New York City, leaving the onlookers mesmerized. 270 Park Avenue 270 Park Avenue is a project to build a high-rise tower of 423 meters, and it is estimated to be completed in 2024. It will serve as J.P. Morgan Chase World Headquarters. The 270 Park Avenue was designed by Foster & Partners Architects. The developer, J.P. Morgan Chase, announced in 2018 the demolition of the existing Union Carbide building to develop the new skyscraper. The demolition work of the already existing building was completed in 2021. The developers had made a bold campaign to purchase the air rides about Park Avenue and 46th Street. J.P. Morgan and Chase paid $208 million to the owners of Grand Central Station, MSD Capital, and TF Cornerstone. The reason for this extravagant spending is simple, surpassing other skyscrapers like One Vanderbilt and the Chrysler Building. This towering skyscraper would be a 60-story building that would be innovative in many manners. It will be powered by renewable energy having the least possible environmental impact. It will be the largest all-electric building in New York City. Furthermore, according to the developers, 97% of the predecessor building will be recycled and reused in the development of the new project. It will add to the public space compared to the previous building in the same location. There will be offices, a plaza, fitness facilities, indoor greenery, etc., adding to its dimensions of innovation. It will make the sixth tallest building in the city as the developmental work continues. But who knows if another project with an even higher rise is announced. Brooklyn Tower, also known as 90 Kelp Avenue. Brooklyn Tower is another high-rise building to be developed in New York City. The proposed height of this skyscraper is 325 meters, and it is Brooklyn's answer to the competition for high-rise buildings in New York. The top that year for this project is 2022, and it is being developed by JDS Development Group. The project was designed by Shop Architects. The distinction that this project holds is being the first super-high building in Brooklyn, while it will also bring Brooklyn into competition with Manhattan. The developers of this skyscraper are renowned for its skinny, high-rise buildings at 111 West 37th Street. This tower will also be one of a kind as it will be a sleek and skinny structure that will expand as it rises. As it is expected to be completed soon, it will begin new competition for high-rise buildings in Brooklyn. It will include multiple high-end facilities as the developers have planned. These include luxury condos, high-end rentals, and business offices. The skyscraper will have the historic dime-saving bank at its base. It will bring business structures and retail areas to an enclosed space, making life luxurious and attractive. Affirmation Tower Another addition to the skyline of New York City is the Affirmation Tower, which was planned before COVID-19. It has been thought of as a building to be representing the resolve of the black community. It is a project of Ad J Associates, and it is proposed to be located at 418 11th Avenue and would cover a 1.2-acre site. The news regarding the development of Affirmation Tower was broken in October 2021. The proposed site is a vacant area known as Site K, and it's across Jacob K. Javits Center in Manhattan. The Affirmation Tower will be a 507-meter tall skyscraper that will extend to 11th Avenue as it rises. Furthermore, it will be the highest tower in the Western Hemisphere. What makes it different from other high-rise towers in New York City is its inverted arches, extreme height, straighted design, and diversity bona fides. The various features of it reflect the strength and resolve of the black community that has faced hardships for years. Also, it will be the first of its kind that is majority black developed and designed and constructed. The McCassick Group has already tapped for the construction of the Affirmation Tower, while renowned names like Stephen Whitkoff and Exact Capital have also backed the project. The skyscraper will have corporate offices, an observation deck, two hotels, a theater, and a new headquarters for the Mid-Manhattan NAACP branch. The previous governor of New York, Kumo, approved this project, but things changed as Lieutenant Governor Hakal took charge. The project has faced difficulties as authorities require changes in the plan, but the developers have shown their resolve to overcome difficulties and complete this project. Triple One West 57th by Shop Architects According to the developers of Triple One West 57th, this project is an addition to the rich heritage of skyscrapers in New York City. 
They have called it a powerful combination of optimistic expression and technical innovation. Shop Architect's project of the skyscraper not only adds to this tradition, but it updates the perception of how the inmates of this great city see it. It is located at 111 West 57th Street and has been named after it. This skyscraper is about 436 meters in height and serves as a residential tower. It is among the tallest skyscrapers developed in New York City. The total area that this skyscraper covers is about 572,000 square feet, described as a new local and regional landmark. Triple One West 57th will contribute in a meaningful manner contributing to the living space. The materials used for the development is terracotta, a material representing golden age of the Manhattan skyscrapers. The form of the tower shows the possibilities of making things happen in the condensed area of Manhattan. It unifies in the tradition of terracotta with 1 Wall Street, 30 Rockefeller Center, and the Empire State Building. 2 World Trade Center Moving to our next selection, 2 World Trade Center is the continuation of the tradition of WTC. It is also known as 200 Greenwich Street, which is located in Manhattan, New York City. It is planned to be developed on the location of WTC, which was destroyed in the September 11th attacks. It will be located in the location of WTC 5. The developers completed the foundation work of the 2 World Trade Center in 2013. The developers' foster and partners revealed the details of the project in 2005, but they have made some changes to the original plan. The development of work on two World Trade Center has proceeded slowly and was handed over to Big in 2015. There will be offices of big names like Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation and 21st Century Fox in this skyscraper. The proposed height of the new two World Trade Center is 410 meters, and the estimated year of completion of this project is 2027. The owner of this skyscraper is the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. 350 Park Avenue Another name that is going to add to the attractive New York skyline is 350 Park Avenue. The project detail shows that the height of 350 Park Avenue is 442 meters and it will have 70 floors. The project was proposed for development in 2019, and the construction work is expected to begin in 2024 while it will be completed in 2030. The developmental responsibility of this project has been given to Rudin Management Company Inc. and Vornado Realty Trust. The main aim of the development of this project is to create a viable space for offices that will bring innovation and creativity into a single entity. The total area that this skyscraper will cover is about 1.7 million square feet. The tower will serve as the headquarters of Kenneth Griffin's company, Citadel. Various properties have been acquired for this purpose, and these will be demolished to ensure the space is created for it. Tower 5th Midtown Manhattan will add another skyscraper to its high-rise building soon, and it's the 5th Tower. 5th Tower will be amongst the tallest buildings in New York, but also the second-highest building in Western Hemisphere. The proposed height of the 5th Tower is 474 meters, and the architecture firm that is working on it is Gensler. The location of Tower 5th is 5 East 51st Street. This tower will be innovative in the management of energy because of its closed cavity facade system. There will be various facilities for the public in this tower, including shops, a food hall, an auditorium, a public observatory, and wellness facilities. Furthermore, there will be 960,000 square feet of residential space. With their impressive heights, these buildings will add to the beauty of New York City. With that, our video has come to an end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Take care!